All right. 2018. Got the uh, meat salted. We're in the equalization period where the meat has now uh, essentially been uh, salted for about a week and we're trying to get that salt to penetrate to the center of the meat. I used a 2% salt solution on the, on the meat, 2% salt actually, dry salt by weight of, uh, of the meat. On the thinner stuff, like the, uh, the bacons, uh, it takes a little bit less on the thicker stuff, like the loins takes a little bit more, so it all kind of equals out in the end. Uh, you can see here, well you can see the red pepper flake, you can't see the garlic, fresh garlic uh, all over it after a week. And then I put red pepper flake on it, on the some of the pork loins, I also made them spicy with the red pepper flake, the other ones white pepper to uh, to give it a little bit of spice and then outside we got the uh, smokehouse started up with a log of apple wood so it's been a week like I said with the salt on the on the meat I've got the beef and some ribs in here beautiful red color and then the beef just plain pepper and then some of them have a little bit of red pepper flake and I'm gonna let that go I got a heater in there ready to go because it's gonna drop temperature tonight you can see right now it's raining uh, but we are expecting uh, quite a bit of snow tonight and the most important thing is here you can see 81% humidity, 41 degrees, pretty much perfect. If it was just 2 degrees cooler, I'd be happier. But 81% humidity is just right to let these pieces of meat hang and slowly dry out. You don't want to dry it out too fast. If it dries out too fast, you get a nasty skin on it. And then the center is raw and the outside is going to be completely hard so 80 percent humidity pretty much perfect 38 to 40 degrees pretty much perfect a week of salt turning it and then draining off the juices and after a week go ahead and give it a shot of garlic and some either pepper or red pepper flake don't overspice it you want the natural taste of the meat to come out you can see here it's nice and shiny just gave it the uh, garlic not garlic powder real garlic that's been put through the blender basically and liquefied and you just spread it on and then you can hit it with the red pepper flake so it sticks and man oh man I cannot wait until the end of December beginning of February and then I'll weigh it. Once it loses 40% of its raw weight, it is going to be done and ready to eat. So, looks good. I'll follow up as soon as a few more of these get smoked. So you can see the uh, difference in the color and the size. You can see these are still pretty plump. But we're going to lose, like I said, 40% of the raw weight. Thank you.